Welcome back. In this video, we are going to set up the inputs for the mouse, keyboard, and gamepad. So let's get started. First off, uh, go to settings. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to settings, project settings, and scroll down to engine and click input. Now where it says uh, we're going to go to, we're going to, let's close these, go to the section where it says bindings and we're, we're going to create three bindings, action mappings. Let's click this three times. So we just created three action mappings. The first one is going to be called jump. Now, um, click where it says none, click keyboard, or you could type in space and click spacebar. Click this uh, little plus sign and add another one. That's for the keyboard. And this second one is going to be for the gamepad. And let's type in face and choose bottom button which is going to be on the right side of the gamepad the next action mapping we're going to do is let's see crouch click enter and for none, you can change this to whatever you want. I'm not really sure what's what's a good button, but I'm going to choose uh, left shift and click plus again. And we're going to add the gamepad again. You can for the gamepad, you can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to choose the right shoulder button. Next, finally, we're going to add a punch button. And again, you can choose whatever you want. We're just going to choose E. Add another uh, add another button. This is for the this is going to be for the the gamepad and for the gamepad Let's choose, let's type in face and choose left. So that's pretty much it for the action mappings. Next, let's go to the axis mappings. The first one we're going to create is the forward motion. So let's type in forward. And that's just going to be the movement uh, going backwards and forward. For the keyboard, this is traditionally uh, W. Let's add another button. S. That's going to be moving backwards. Let's add two more and do the up key. And the down key. And let's not forget our gamepad. For the gamepad, that's going to be um, the left thumbstick. Uh, let's type in thumb. All 
Okay, so left thumbstick, and that's going to be on the Y axis. Um, the Y axis is up and down. So on the gamepad, um, on the left thumbstick, when, 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 you, uh, when we press the thumbstick up on the Y axis, it's going to move forward. And we, when we press it, move it down, it's going to um, move backwards. Now for the scale, when we're we when we are moving backwards, um, we're going to go negative. So change to S and the down button to negative one. And I think that's pretty much it for the forward motion. Let's add another axis mapping. This is going to be the right motion moving uh, um, right to left. Let's add some more uh, buttons. This first button, since it's right, um, Let's choose the A button. And also the D button. Okay. So left is going to be on a left will be the A button will be is on the left side, so that's going to be moving left. So that's going to that's going to be negative. So let's make that negative one. And for D, that's on the right. So that's going positive. So that's set up. Let's add another axis mapping. This one will be called turn rate. And I'm just going to just this is just this is just for me, but I'm going to put a parentheses gamepad. And this is going to be used primarily for the gamepad, so. Um, this first button. Let's add uh, the left button from the, for the keyboard. Let's add another one right for the keyboard. And one more that's going to be the right thumbstick. Let's type in thumbstick. And let's see. That's going to be the X axis because uh, Y is up and down and uh, X is left and right. So Now for the left, we're going to change um, the scale to negative one. I think that's pretty much it. Um, let's add another axis mapping. Oh. Click that by mistake. Let's add another axis mapping and let's name this turn. And again, you don't have to do this, but um, I'm just doing this for organization purposes. Um, I'm going to put that put parentheses mouse. Uh, 
so again, turn that's left and right, which is also named, um, I believe, y'all. And we're going to, so left and right, that's going to be the X axis. And let's go to mouse. Let's type in mouse and click mouse X. We're going to add another axis map uh, mapping. And this one's going to be called lookup rate. And again, I'm going to add gamepad. Okay, so. We're going to add the thumbstick. And this is going to be the right thumbstick. And because it's looking up, it's going to be on the Y axis. Okay. And just leave the scale to one. And we have one more left. So let's add one more axis mapping and name this lookup parentheses mouse. So we're looking up, that's going to be the pitch up and down and that's going to be the mouse. So let's type in mouse and choose mouse Y. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it as far as the uh, input mappings. So in this video, we set up the action mappings and the axis mappings for the mouse, keyboard, and gamepad. We added a jump, crouch, punch. For the axes, uh, we've added the forward motion, the right motion, the turn rate for the gamepad, the turn for the mouse, the lookup rate for the gamepad, and the lookup for the mouse. Um, if you enjoy this tutorial and you want to see more, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified um, on the next video in this series, and I will, um, you guys take care.